Ciao ciao Chico Bellas! Today we long distance San Francisco cooling. I have Nancy on Skype. Ciao Chico Bella! Hi! Hey, how's the weather there in San Francisco? It's nice, it's not too sunny, but it's nice out. Because I want to I wanna go there. I dream about San Francisco. People are singing yeah. about it. There's movies about it. It's, it's my Beautiful. type of a city. Yeah, and it's I, great. Yeah, I just came from the gym. So, wait. Now I'm beautiful, yeah? Yes. You look good. awesome. Awesome with the <laughs> ring light. Tell us about your ring light. It's a mirror that I have that has a sensor in it. So, it's like super, it's uh, very magnifying. And it Is has it? a light around it. Can you so do makeup awesome. on a magnifying mirror? What was that? Ma makeup on a magnifying mirror. Yeah, it's like pretty big. All and right. I know, but it, it works. It's oh, great. right. Like, it, it distracts me. I, I put it slightly oh. more up and down because it deforms your face if it's like a magnifying one, no? It's a really high quality one, so okay. it's pretty cool. You can see everything when you're doing, it helps with blending. It's really great. Because the thing is, I can see you have a ring light because yeah. of the reflection in the eyes. I can, I was thinking about doing a makeup tutorial where I would say what lights uh, famous YouTubers are using because oh, I can yeah. read it from their eyes, you know. Ah, uh, I know this mirror. I know this mirror because we. Awesome. I was working for a company from the states, and we were buying the. And it's an expensive mirror. Yeah. Oh my! I know totally which mirror you have. It's an awesome yeah. mirror. Yeah, All I right. think it's the sharper image. I don't know. It's, it's really, it's really great. I know, I know, because we bought it for some company. We bought fifty of them. Oh wow! Anyway, um, <laughs> let's do this. Number okay. one, give me your first question. Um, so I love eyeshadow, but it never looks right on me. I don't know if it, my eyes are too deep set, but okay. I, whenever I wear eyeshadow, it makes my eyes look like holes in my face. <laughs> mm. I don't know if I just can't wear dark colors because my eyes are deeper set or I don't know okay it's quite simple the thing is your eyelid even though being deep set I'm actually recording a makeup tutorial for you there will be one girl that has pretty much your eye I'm recording it next uh, week so I'll post it in about 15 days um this lid here is so up that when you, you it's awesome because you have a lot of space to apply makeup but if mm -hmm. you do that deep set eye technique classic one that you go with a darker eyeshadow here or for example if you put dark eyeshadow all over it's slightly strange because it just makes your eye really big and round yeah okay. so we did one technique where the girl had a deep set eye not long ago, her name is Goda. She was wearing this yellow jacket. Um, just check the videos. I'll send you the link as well. Um, basically, you can apply an eyeshadow sort of as an eyeliner. So you don't apply mm. it all over the lid. That's the main idea. You don't apply it all over the lid. So you just put it basically here in a line. Does that make sense? Yeah, so along the lash line? Along the lash line and you blend it nicely and you don't extend it all the way up. So you would just go with a very dark eyeshadow, like you would encircle the eyes with an eyeshadow, but not build it all over your eyelid. Because mm. this is how you can control the shape of an eye. For example, you can go more out, you can yeah. go here rounder, you make rounder eyes. Just think about that you don't need to apply an eyeshadow all over up to the eyelid, like mm. most of the girls would, right? Yeah. Whereas you can also, like, if you apply that's a deep set eye technique right you apply lighter eyeshadow whole over a whole eyelid and then darker eyeshadow you go here in this C so that you blend it and it goes in mm. um, it will be an awesome video you see she has the same eyes as you so it will be really helpful um, so because my eyes are deeper set I don't know I, I have a really hard time doing winged eyeliner or eyeliner on the top lid okay so it tends to break and I don't know if there's a way, I want to avoid having to do a wing that's like curved like that, but I don't know how else to, so I, I don't know if I can do a wing you, at all. So you don't want to do a curved wing, 
I'd rather, I don't really like that look, but maybe it's just not possible any other way. Mmm, give me other side, other side of the face, then, okay, yeah, I mean, like, you can totally flick an eyeliner up however you like, basically. Really? I guess I, I just don't know, I need to practice, because I can't do it. <laughs> G mm, yeah, so, but can you do a wing or not? Is it... I've tried, I, I do need to practice a little bit more, but whenever I do it, I just don't know at what Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Do you know what is the best thing that you apply an eyeliner as your lower part goes? So basically, like, if you would look yourself from the side, you would flick it up like this. That's where the flick should stop. Does this make sense? Yeah. So look, like, there's where my, my eye goes like this, and then it goes up, and here it curves, and, you know? So, yeah. like, it goes up like this. Right, so then, I would just, I would flick it in like this, right? I would go in like this. Do you see me there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. <laughs> so, I would go down like this, you know? If you don't want to extend it, you just finish it where this stops, and then you draw it in. It's like, if you would apply tape here, in the direction as your eye is going, then you would just flick it down, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess because my bone sticks out a lot here, so I have kind of like I, it tends to break no matter what direction it goes into. So I don't know. What do you mean the eyeliner breaks? Yeah, yeah, because I have this. My eyes are deeper. So. All right, just mm, that 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 doesn't matter. It's like more way the crease breaks. Look, put your chin okay. down. No, like the eyeliner can't break. Mm, like maybe you go far too up. Yeah, maybe. You don't need to go up. You just follow your your natural line, and then and then here, because okay. like you have these parts lifted. Look, I have them here. I can't apply an eyeliner because this this here would break it, right? Yeah. But you you can pretty much avoid it. It's like where where this crease starts. You know, like where these go down from the yeah. bone, where this crease ends. That's where you just need to avoid that part and then you can flick an eyeliner. Mm, okay. Have you tried that? I, I have to try different ways. Do you know what? Just look, I think the easiest is if from the inner part you apply it out and then you flick it down in and you get okay. that pointed eyeliner. Topshop has an awesome eyeliner to break this. It's cheap. It, it, the point, the felt tip is awesome. Just use that one. That is cool. Oh. All right? Oh. Oh. Third question. Um, my face shape. I don't know what. I can't figure out what. Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Well, put your chin down. You need to put your hair back. There. I see. No, 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 not, not that much. Just pull your hair back. Yeah. Okay. You, you need to give me that straight uh, look in the camera. You know. Yeah. So I would contour it. Chin down. Uh, still chin down slightly. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. All right. Cool. Enough. Um, the thing is. <laughs> Like, you can contour it as a heart-shaped face. So what I would do is just, I would go from, like, the, the forehead. I would contour the forehead. And then here you have nice cheekbones. You go slightly more up on the on the cheekbone. So you uh -huh. don't, this is where your, how do you call this, hollow? Is it a hollow? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, right. So if you would go here in, you you feel touch your bone. Like put you push it like this. No, it goes yeah. lower. Your bone's lower. Yeah. There's your bone. Yeah. Uh -huh. You feel the bone like the, you can't move your finger more up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. So like you feel your bone. This is where that you, you know you could you could go with a contour, but it would make your face more heart shaped. Yeah. Do you understand? So yeah. you need to go slightly more up on that bone and and flick it towards your mouth and your nose. So look, you would go down towards your mouth and your nose. I don't know if I'm showing it well, but... <laughs> so not totally in the hollow, but just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, off. yeah, yeah, bravo. Because then you can apply blush already. Here you apply a bit of blush and then you can yeah. blush it down as well. So you blush it here. However you like. I usually blush it here, not on the cheek, because you have round cheeks. Like, I don't want to make them rounder, right? 
-hmm. So basically, I would just contour this part, make it slightly darker that the face wouldn't be like that. I push yeah. it slightly more in. So I contour here and I contour these cheekbones a bit so that the face gets more, more structured. And then blush, where should blush go? I usually, like with your fa face shape, I put blush here. So here and here would be slightly rounder like that. Yeah. 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 So feel your cheek. This is where your cheekbone ends. Yeah. yeah? So this way your cheekbone ends, it's already where I would end the blush. Because if you would mm -hmm. put it forward, like more, it will look round. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So you would yeah. be like a girl from the mountains, like all oh, round red cheeks, <laughs> yeah? Makes sense. All right, cool. Do you have any other questions or not? No, nope, that's it. All right, cool. Then we're done. Okay. Hey, thank you very much for thank calling. You. For all other girls, uh, just subscribe, you know, like send me a message on Skype and uh, I'll, I'll book you in. I have time now for these consultations. Uh, say ciao, ciao to Nancy. Bye. See you. Have Thanks. fun. Bye, bye, bye.